All right, I'm gonna show you how to make this jar set up. Half inch, we'll make a half inch jar set up. One thing to know is half inch is a lot harder to get, get straight. Three quarters is pretty straight. So once you make these, kind of want to bend them out a little bit, maybe get one straight, solder that, and take hose clamps, put on here. I'll show you. You need six half inch elbows. I'd say they sell half inch pipe in 10 foot sections. Go ahead and buy you a 10 foot section of uh, half inch pipe. You need a pack. This is a union. You put one half here and one half here, depending on what your column has on it and what your condenser has on it. So you could just push this right between, hook it right up to your column, and then go to your condenser. Might need to build something to support the weight or prop it up somehow or another. Uh, know when making this, you're going to need three, three half gallon jars. But you need three more for when you go to run it. Because whatever jars you use to build it, like these are my work jars. I would never run liquor through them. They get smoke, flux, solder. So have three scrap jars, get you a big pack, get you a case of half gallon jars. Set three of them aside to work on. Uh, let me show you something. You're gonna need three of these. Now, I sell these. If you need them, I can sell them to you. I also sell the gaskets. Or you could build these if you get some it's roof flashing, copper roof flashing, you can cut them out. I've cut them out for, for a while now. But I just recently started having them professionally made or buying them from a guy that has them professionally made. Uh, I sell these on my website, doughbillymoonshine.com, if you can't build your own. Sell them in sets of three. I sell both type. I sell half inch and three quarter. And uh, outside of that, you're gonna need some solder. I believe I use the OD number five, just plumbing solder. No lead. And I think I use the uh, the OD number five flux. Just just solder and flux. But make sure it don't have lead in it, which. If you want leaded solder, you usually have to go out of your way to get it nowadays. So you can build one fairly cheap, but there is a lot of work. And I'll show you. I know I've talked a lot. My bad. Uh, check out the rest of the video. All right. So, uh, like I said, getting these straight, sometimes a hassle. So, I'll hose clamp here. I'll put one here, here, here. There, there, hose clamp there, hose clamp there. And then, uh, you know, just solder it up, straighten it up. I take a little level and I'll level out, say, uh, this one. And then I'll level it out here. And then I'll put all the rest of it together. I'll put this up top. And it comes out pre pretty straight. I know that's one of the hardest things about half inch. This needs to be shined up. I'm gonna clean it with some uh, star sands, but there it is. I let my let them touch bottom. If you want to drill holes in the sides, you know, down here, that's fine too. That's up to you. Sometimes I do that if they're touching tight, but I let them touch bottom. Get some sheet copper, about a third, third thick of a penny. I don't know what the gauge is. Take a mason jar lid, put on top of it, draw a picture, and cut it out, some tin snips. Get you a half gallon mason jar, put it in there. You're gonna drill two holes in it. 
so it looked like that. Half inch. So if you're drilling half inch holes, the outside diameter of a half inch pipe is five eighths. So you want to get a half inch, five eighths bit, trying to get it to where it looks like that. I'll put a link to this bit in the description. If you're doing three quarters, then you're gonna want a seven eighths inch bit. Drill two holes in it. You need three of these. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You need a bunch of elbows. You need your down pipes, right? So you want your pipe to come up out of the top of your jar at least five inches. Between five and nine inches is a good, good way. So get you three pipes for this jar setup. I got them about 15 inches long. And then you want another pipe coming up, just sticking up. So that one is about eight inches long. You want pipe to connect them going over, right? You gotta connect these two pipes, elbow, elbow. You get it? And the, these could change. It depends on where, where you're soldering it in to your lid. So these are about six inches. You gotta roughly make some lids. I already showed you that. Uh, I'll start putting it together and then I'll show you. All right, so I'm retrofitting right now. This is what you need. So take a Dremel. Clean up, clean up all your solder joints. But basically, going from the, the column, going down to your jar, going out of your jar, going across, coming down into your next jar, going out of your jar, going across, you get it, and then going out. So this is what you need so far. Are you with me? I'm gonna solder these and, and put them together. Uh, all right, so you need to get three half gallon mason jars. Don't use these jars for later. These are always gonna be your work jars or throw them away. So you're gonna get smoke, solder, and flux all on them. Need to have three laying around. Put your copper lids. on right like that and you're gonna want to all right so something like that got gotcha. you your in pipe your out pipe go here got a bracing pipe and we're gonna line all these up start soldering it i'll show you all right, so this is what you got. You want gonna want some hose clamps. You want to get a level. You want to level your pipes. Um, start start with one, and then try and level it out. Try and make it look decent. When you're soldering, you might want to get a wet rag and put around this rim so you don't burn up your lids. Uh, I'll come to you with the next step. I, I use these hose clamps to clamp this pipe onto here and I'm gonna solder solder it to all these pipes kind of as a break kind of as a bracing to brace this thing. But you you get the point. Get you a pipe, go from one end all the way to the other. Solder it on there. Sometimes you have to take two hose clamps and and make one that's all there is to it. it it's fairly easy but you know straightening these is, is kind of an asshole like i said i think this is the straightest one i've ever made um you know sometimes you'll have them bow together up top it's fine 
Sometimes you can't get them this straight. Uh, every one I build, I think I get a little better. And I've built a few now. Uh, if you don't want to build one of these, I sell them on my website, billbillymoonshine.com. If you do want to build one and you have any problems, let me know. i see what I can do to help you. Uh, if you see this video and you like it, like and subscribe. I appreciate it if you share it. I'm trying to get some, uh, some, some more views. Ain't been getting many views lately. Um, but, uh, yeah, man. If you don't like this video, fuck your mama, bitch! <laughs>